today we are looking at the reasons, some of the reasons why tomato plants may not set fruit. And so the process of flowering to forming fruit is actually called fruit set. So tomato plants may not set their fruits for many, many reasons. But I'm going to talk about four particular reasons why tomato plants may not set their fruits. And so one of them could be because of pollination or the lack of pollination thereof. And um, tomato plants are generally self-pollinators, right? And, but however, sometimes they require some assistance from insects. And so if they're not able to pollinate by other by insects, they may not produce fruits. Other reasons could be inadequate nutrients in the soil. For example, this soil that I have here is kind of a poor soil, um, not so rich soil. So to get this proper nutrients in this soil, I've had um, proper fertilizers. Um, not too much of a nitrogen because the plant will grow too tall and thus producing flowers. So you need some phosphorus. You also need some potassium. So you want to at least look for some ratio. Um, six to six to six may be a good ratio um, to use NPK. And a good measure you can also do to add nutrients in the soil is to add... So another recommendation you could do in terms of fertilizer, you could add um, some Epsom salt in the fertilizer. Epsom salt is magnesium sulfate, so the magnesium and the sulfur will add additional nutrients to the soil that the soil needs to help with the setting of fruits and flowers. So it's very important um, to give proper fertilizer to the plants. Um, the nitrogen is very important for growth and for foliage. Phosphorus is important for giving strength. And the potassium is very important for, for the flowering and the fruiting. The, the sulfur and the, and the magnesium, they will also help in producing chlorophyll and also in the production of other substance. And even the sulfur is very important in forming certain proteins as well. So it's very important for us to add nutrients to the soil to give strength to the plant and also to help in the production and the different processes that are taking place inside of the plant itself. Beside um, pollination and adequate nutrients, tomatoes do not like high heat. So if, it, if it's too hot, then the pollen grains will become sterile. Um, just like sperm cells in human beings, um, the pollen grains can become sterile because of the destruction of the proteins um, within the pollen grains. And so tomatoes kind of like of a moderate cooler temperature, not too hot nor not too cool either. Um, other, the other reason is humidity that I'm going to look at. Humidity is very important for tomato plants. If it's too humid, um, the, to uh, the pollen grains will clogged together and, he, and, and will not be able to transfer over to the stigma. Also, if it is too dry, then the pollen grains can become parched. And I want to show you, I think it's in this one, right? You can see the tip of that is kind of parched because this is close to the wall. So if you notice the brown area right in the middle right there, that's actually a parched area um, where you'll find the pollen grains and the, and the stigma. So therefore, the high temperature is not good for the tomato plants as well. For, uh, for this plant, it is more in a cooler area. Um, I get some tomatoes from this one. Um, and so I have a lot of tomatoes on this. Now, this is in a cooler area where the soil is also different. So I guess this will give more nutrients to the soil and even the water condition, water is also important. Um, the best way to water tomato plants is water their roots and not their flower. Um, beating water on the flower of the tomato plants will not produce good results as well. So this is a backyard tomato plant and um, also a reason why the, the fruit, if you notice, some of the fruits may, may burst as in this one. And this could be because of excess amount of water as well. And also insect bites could eventually open and then when the fruits are getting larger and larger, it may result in the bursting of a tomato plant. So there are a number of reasons you have to look out for. Make sure tomato is in a good area where it is very aerated and um, moisture is important. And so those are some of the factors that 
may affect your food set in your tomato plants. All right, so another reason why I'm gonna look at, um, or I would say the solution, what you can also do um, to ensure that you may get some good fruits in the tomatoes is to actually prune the tomato plants. One, it may assist in the flow of air through the plants and also to reduce the number of leaves that are feeding from the soil. So if the soil is not good and you have too much leaves, then it will draw too much nutrients and then the, there will be not enough nutrients to produce the fruit. So again, pruning is important, cut off the excess leaves, especially from the base and allow air to flow through um, the, the tree. Also, watch out for these little guys. Um, I'm gonna try to show you on this. Um, here is a caterpillar. And so these are natural um, feeders of the tomato plants. They camouflage on the tree as well. And so therefore they will cause some damage as well to your plants. So look out for those. Um, if, you do, if you want to grow organically, um, it's best for you to come and look at the trees every day and remove all those pests. And um, it's a good way to keep a plant healthy is to watch them every day. Remove the stuff that should not be there. Remove the excess leaves. And um, the leaves at the bottom, if they are drying up, um, again, they are useless at this point. So you can take them off because it's best for you to allow the plant to feed from top and feed from top of the plant. And then the food that is producing a leaf will go down. Um, water travels from the ground up, but food can travel from the leaves down and also up. So food travels up and down in the plant, but water only travels up. So you have to be careful of watering the plant. Do not water the plant from the leaves, as I mentioned before to beat the flowers off, water the flower from the, the ground. So once the water is on the ground, it is best and it's easier. The roots are what absorbing the water. Leaves will not absorb the water. Um, but the leaves need to keep cool. So if you want to mist it, then that's then that not a problem. But to beat the water until the plant is absolutely not recommended.